we would look for a new law. In general, we look for a new law by the following process. First, we guess it. <laughs> then we com well, don't laugh. That's the really true. Then we compute the consequences of the guess to see what, if this is right, if this law that we guessed is right, we see what it would imply. And then we compare those computation results to nature. Or we say compared to experiment or experience. Compare it directly with observation to see if it, if it works. <coughs> if it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. In that simple statement is the key to science. It doesn't make any difference how beautiful your guess is. It doesn't make any difference how smart you are who made the guess or what his name is. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. That's all there is to it. It's therefore not unscientific to take a guess, although many people who are not in science think it is. For instance, I had a conversation about flying saucers some years ago with laymen. <laughs> because I'm scientific, I know all about flying saucers. So I said, I don't think there are flying saucers. So the other, my antagonist said, is it impossible that there are flying saucers? Can you prove that it's impossible? I said, no, I can't prove it's impossible. It's just very unlikely. That, they say, you are very unscientific. If you can't prove it impossible, then why, how can you say it's likely that it's unlikely? Well, that's the way that is scientific. It is scientific only to say what's more likely and less likely and not to be proving all the time possible and impossible. To define what I mean, I finally said to him, listen, I mean that from my knowledge of the world that I see around me, I think that it is much more likely that the reports of flying saucers are the result of the known irrational characteristics of terrestrial intelligence <laughs> rather than the unknown <laughs> rational efforts of extraterrestrial intelligence. <laughs>